Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I'm John Zarnecki, Deputy Director and Senior Vice President of IIDA, based at our IIDA headquarters in Chicago. And I'm honored to welcome all of you to this special student-focused event. In the next hour, we're going to recognize the IIDA Student of the Year and recipients of both the IA Interior Architects Diversity and Design and the John J. Nelson Legacy Scholarship. For IIDA and the IIDA Foundation, a primary mission is to advance the interior design profession through education, research, and knowledge. We're fortunate to have the support of fantastic benefactors, fast IA Interior Architects, and John J. Nelson Sr. to initiate scholarship and award opportunities to enrich the design industry. The emerging designers that you will see today are at the forefront of inspiring, creating, and leading change. To showcase these awards and scholarships and to moderate this program, I'm pleased to introduce the incoming chair of the IIDA Foundation, Kara Headley, who is an interior designer at the firm Hendrick in Atlanta. Tara, please join me on screen and share a few thoughts on the of the IIDA Foundation. Tara? Thank you, John, and thank IIDA for having me. I am incredibly honored to be the incoming chair for the IIDA Foundation. It is a cause that's very important to me. I am especially proud of giving back to the community. It's something I'm very passionate about, so I'm very happy to be here with all of you. I started my journey with IIDA early on, but I was also one of the first recipients of the IIDA Student of the Year Award, so I have been in their shoes, so I know how incredibly important this is for them to showcase that they've made these amazing achievements and have put in all this work in school, and it's come to fruition now. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm excited to share the recipients of these awards with the audience here today. So first up, we are honored to present the IIDA Student of the Year Award sponsored by OFS. This award recognizes an IIDA student member whose insight, involvement, and leadership have significantly impacted their school's interior design program. Congratulations to the 2020 IIDA Student of the Year, Tyler Haddon. Before we bring Tyler on screen, Molly Pryor from OFS would like to share a few words. OFS is honored to be the sponsor of the IIDA Student of the Year Award. As a company, we are committed to both design excellence and ensuring the future of design. It's inspiring to us to support young leaders like Tyler, who is the co-leader at the Ohio State University Campus Center, as well as the recipient of other notable design awards, including first place, at the IIDA Student Design Charette in Neocon of 2019. His accomplishments at such an early age need to be celebrated. Tyler, it is my true privilege to be able to honor you with $5,000 from the OFS family as a support to everything that you have done in the design community. We look forward to seeing what you do in the design world to come. Thank you for those kind words, Molly, and thank you so much, OFS, for your generous support of this award. Tyler, would you join me on the metaphorical stage? Hi. Hello, Tyler, welcome and congratulations. Can you share with us a few thoughts on the importance of students engaging in programs and awards outside their regular school curriculum? Yeah, so for me, I think what is important about doing outside of like class and studio work competitions and programs is that you really get to tailor your educational experience, how you want that to be, whether it's more things you're interested in or um, a way to diversify yourself. So maybe your school doesn't have a higher ed studio or healthcare project, but you're interested in that and then participating in these other competitions um, can allow you to get some insight into that and even help you um, network up with other students participating or maybe a professional can help and guide you through the project. 
um, as well as um, gives you an opportunity to stand out from your peers. So maybe everyone in your school would have the same projects, but um, since you get to do these extra experiences, um, it helps uh, make you stand out as a student. Very well said, I couldn't agree more. And thank you so much for your dedication to IIDA. Thank you. The IA Interior Architects Diversity and Design Scholarship recognizes that the goals of creating a diverse design community is paramount to making the world of design a more inclusive and innovative place. And don't we need that more today, more than ever. I'd like to ask Marlene Liriano of IA Interior Architects and past IIDA International Board President to join me on screen to share a few additional words. Thank you, Tara. Um, a little bit about uh, IA, we're the largest architectural firm in the world that is focused on interiors. And our goal has always been to improve lives through visionary design and innovation. And since 1984, we have been translating clients' goals, brand, and culture into the environments built around people, process, uh, technology, and business drivers. And as architects, designers, strategists, and environmental specialists, we align business uh, strategies and core values with the dynamics, uh, dynamic use of space. Um, a little bit about this award, um, with the understanding that the design profession is enriched by increasing diversity at all levels, uh, Interior Architects established this scholarship to recognize outstanding students who represents the future of our industry. IA also believes that interior design students will be a major force leading the way so the design industry has a well-defined voice in the diversity discussion, which is very, very important. Students enrolled in a design or architecture program were encouraged to participate uh, by writing a 500 word essay uh, based on the influence of diversity on the future of design thinking. We wanted our students to really, really think. Um, essays needed to address the ways designers can reshape norms and ideate on the future of our industry and how the profession can prepare for the unexpected at the intersection of interior architecture and technology. And boy, are we at that moment of the unexpected, right? So every student with their varied backgrounds and inherent differences will help push the profession to be better and to champion this important movement. IA is proud to present one $5,000 scholarship, two $3,000 scholarships, and four $500 scholarships to exemplary students. Thank you, Marlene. Today, two of the scholarship recipients are joining us. Now, I would like to introduce our second place essay winner, Shayna Krizan, who wrote the essay, Thinking Outside the Box. Shayna is sharing a portion of her essay with us today. Hi, thank you for the, that introduction. Um, so I'll be being part of my essay called Thinking Outside the Box. We all were born in a box, not in a literal sense, but metaphorically. Our traits and characteristics paved the way for the stereotypes that would shape and challenge us. And for some, we let it happen. We never left the box. In fact, we climbed deeper into it. Society told us who to be, and so we let it. Many times we felt trapped, even when we were ready to push ourselves away from the very things that defined us, only to find that the world pushes back. As we remove ourselves from these boxes and uncover our own truths, we find that design is much like us. It has been defined and distributed in the way society told it to, just like us. It has stereotypes and expectations much like ourselves. It is time we start thinking out the box. And I wanted to say thank you to IA Interior Architects and IIDA for this amazing opportunity and for letting us share our voices and for being open to new ideas. Thank you. What great thoughts, especially for our current time that we're living in now. That was amazing, Shana. Thank you for sharing. Next, I would like to introduce our first place winner, J.E. Lee, for her essay, Space Equals Experience Equals Collaboration. J.E., could you share a short excerpt from your essay? Yes, thank you, Tara. Here's what I think about the future of um, design thinking is. As spatial designers today, 
we can no longer limit ourselves in the field of architecture or interior. Environment is not only about where things are, but also about touch, smell, sound, and every other sense a human has to feel the outside world. More importantly, we have to realize that we have the power to affect people, start a conversation, or raise awareness using our profession. And with this mindset and mission, we are no longer just architects or interior designers, we are experienced curators. Thus, we have to look beyond designing spaces and look at other disciplines and how we can learn from them. And I believe we as spatial experience designers, we narrate stories without writing down words, we convey messages without saying anything out loud. I believe we hold as much power as any writers or artists do today to evoke people's feelings and lead people to think. Thank you. That was amazing. I have so much hope for you and the next generation with this kind of thinking. I think it's going to really take us very far. Thank you so much for that. In addition, four honorable mentions were also awarded to those seen here. We encourage everyone to visit the IIDA website to read essays in full. The link should be showing up in the chat soon. The next award is the John J. Nelson Senior Legacy Scholarship, which was created to benefit and further the study of interior design and architecture by students of African-American descent who are currently enrolled in a US not-for-profit CETA accredited interior design or NAAB accredited architecture program. As part of the application process, the fund recipients we will hear from today all submitted a short video articulating how the power of design has already impacted their life and how they will leverage their career in design to positively impact their future clients and community. You can watch them all on the IIDA website. But before we have those recipients join us on screen, we have John J. Nelson Sr. here to share a few words. John, would you please join me on screen? Thank you. Um, I was uh, uh, pleased enough to be one of the judges for these awards uh, that the Nelson Company is uh, doing. Uh, the, what I found was a, a diverse talent pool, um, a passion for good design, and this goes went across the, the whole uh, area, um, and a um, an opportunity to uh, to think about what people want to do and the ability in, in the uh, field to meet some of those needs uh, in, in good design and architecture. Um, I want to thank uh, the IIDA and the foundation for being uh, the conduit to this awareness and it makes uh, programs like this uh, very possible. So thank you very much. Thank you, John. And I was in the audience, I think the first time this award was given out and I can tell you there was hardly a dry eye in the room. We appreciate this so very much and especially in these times, it's really, really important. The significance of this award cannot be downplayed. So thank you once again. We are truly grateful to work with you, John, and your endless dedication to the empowerment of young designers has been evident throughout your career. It is an honor to collaborate with you offering this vital scholarship to our future industry leaders. Each of these three students received $10,000 to further their design career aspirations. Thank you so much. Our first John J. Nelson Senior Scholarship recipient in alphabetical order is Jeremiah Brown. He is not able to join us today, but wanted to share a portion of his submission video with you all. When you think of the large cities like Los Angeles, New York City, Chicago, or even Miami, what is one large key factor that attracts people to them? If you're thinking the architecture, then you're probably right. Architecture, as you can imagine, has been around for quite some time. History dates it back all the way to the first century AD. What this means is that design has been a crucial driving factor for nearly 21 centuries and has only become more influential and advanced over time. Now speaking on the topic of design, I will share how it has impacted my life specifically. 
The first impact design has had on my life is how I now perceive spaces. I have learned that through design, it plays a critical role when it comes to shaping experiences in our lives. This is done particularly through the spaces we inhabit. Spaces allows us to sustain the memories in many aspects of our lives, whether that space is at school, work, events, or even at home. It doesn't matter where it is because design creates spaces and spaces creates memories. Congratulations so much to Jeremiah. Next, Lawson Dyson, who is also not able to join us today. Here, Lawson shares in her submission video um, how the power of design already impacted her life. I remember coming to college and being scared out of my wits. Not only was I uprooting my whole life, I was also moving six hours away to a university where I knew virtually no one. I always knew deeply in my heart that interior design was a path for me, but it was a fear of the unknown that made me hesitant towards my degree. Nevertheless, my experiences in design have been everything that I could have ever dreamed of, plus more. And looking back at my previous semesters as a third year student, I can see situations where I've struggled, succeeded, and challenged myself. And in those moments, I can truly see where design has greatly impacted my life. Last but not least, we'll jump to Sarika. So Sarika Weaver, who is here with us today, how will you leverage your career in design to positively impact your future clients and community? Hi there. So thank you for that question, Tara. Um, I believe just remembering our why for design, um, I think in most of my previous works, I've made sure to keep in mind um, of community, connection, um, and culture. I think creating a diversified worldview um, is super important, especially in this time now. Um, so yes, just remembering your why um, and, and focusing on the things that you're passionate about and, and remembering um, what, what makes a successful design. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sarika, and congratulations again. So congratulations to all of our award and scholarship recipients. Challenging times, like the ones we're facing right now, require the utmost of us as individuals, professionals, volunteers, and organizations. And that's why we believe it's so important to provide a platform to share the voices of diverse emerging designers. I hope that everyone uh, that hearing from them and reviewing their exemplary projects, essays, and video works has inspired you all this evening. I know it has inspired me and I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations so very much. That's great and thank you, Tara. Great job in moderating and a big congratulations to all of our award and scholarship recipients. And thank you again to our sponsors and donors your support is really appreciated at this time and throughout the year. On the screen now, you'll see an overview of some of the student programs from IIDA. Please visit IIDA.org this coming fall for more information on applying for these awards and scholarships. We look forward to hearing from you and reviewing this next year's submissions. So now we'd like all of the award and scholarship recipients and the esteemed sponsors to magically join together back on screen for a group photo. So please click to uh, join on screen and we'll take a group photo. Everyone smile. <laughs> There's a screenshot being taken. Pretend we're, we're all together. <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> this is really cool. This is a really great moment. Uh, in a difficult time and uh, really great to see everyone's face, really great to celebrate and uh, thank you all for taking part today. Um, have a great day and congratulations again to everyone. Thank you again to Tara and uh, thanks. Have a great day everyone. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.